Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bound Channel. We are get solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at plugins generally in QJ. So they are add-ons or extensions that enhance the core functionality of the QJ software. So basically, um, we have different um, things that um, plugins can do. So um, to load um, Google Maps for advanced spatial joins to classify satellite imagery. You know export interactive maps and all of them so we have them about three types of plugins the core ones that are already installed but cannot be enabled or disabled as they came with QGIS the official plugins that are maintained by QGIS team or trusted contributors and then we have the third-party plugins that are developed by users or organizations that um, offer specialized tools right good because um, we can actually um, develop plugins and then host them on MQGIS. So for us to access plugins, we can go to plugins, manage and install plugins and then you know we can also we can also install from a zip file maybe if we have the offline version and then we use plugins because they are like apps for our GIS. They let us tailor QGIS to perform specific work whether as surveyors, environmental analysts, planners or developers so let's come to qgis so as we said earlier you come to plugins you go to manage and install plugins good it is um, very important to note that you need an um, internet connection and then sometimes when you come up here and then it's not showing all the plugins to be over 1000 you can just come to settings and then ensure that the plugins repository is connected to the internet right good because it has to show green that means it is connected so now under the plugins we are going to look at some specific plugins like um, data acquisition and management so under that category we are going to look at um, quick map services so we have um, quick map services okay we already have that installed so there's actually a new version so we can decide to upgrade the plugin good so we have upgraded as so what it does is that um, easy to read base maps and um, geo services right good so you can see the number of downloads it has because it's actually a very useful what um, plugin right good so it helps you to load base maps like google bing osm that's um, quick map services and then the rest of them the next plugin under this category we are going to look at is the mm qgis which is um, this other plugin so it's a versatile plugin for csv import so um qgis vector layer operation plugins you can see set of python plugins for manipulating vector map layers in quantum gis csv input output join geocoding geometric conversion and all of that so you can also see that the number of downloads are a bit high are uh, actually high because of um, how useful this particular plugin is right so we are also going to look at the next plugin that's um, the geocoding right so okay that's um geocoding good that's this plugin so it allows your coding using various providers like um, google and the rest of that so this plugin allows the user to search for an address and get its coordinate that's the geocoding using your coding using yeah nominatium and google web services right good so you can also see that the number of downloads is a bit high so under the um, data acquisition category we have the quick map services the mm qgis and then the geocoding now let's look at another category like the data processing and um, analysis right good so we can look at um, processing arrow provider so let's look at um, good that's a um, processing our provider right good so what it does is that it processes our script it integrates um, arrow and python scripts into the qgis um, geo processing or maybe processing toolbox right good so um, processing provider for our scripts right good so that's what it actually does so if you have some our scripts this particular plugin can help you to integrate it to or to qgis the next of which is what the grass now good now you can see that this is a core plugin you can't uninstall it but you can upgrade so it unlocks advanced um, geospatial analysis works right good now the next of which is the point sampling tool we have actually used point sampling tool on um, solving solutions to perform a particular task right good so this is point sampling tool 
it collects polygon attributes and raster values from multiple layers at specific sampling points. It extracts raster values at vector points. Great for them analysis. So maybe if you have some sample points that you want to determine their elevation value on the digital elevation model, this point sampling tool can what help you achieve that. Now let's look at um, the profile tool. So we have um, the profile tool which is this right good so these two plots profile lines from raster layers or point vector layer with elevation field right good so it creates elevation profiles from a digital elevation model this particular tool it actually has a good number of downloads we have about um, is it over 1 million or 13 million so it helps you to what uh, to create elevation profile from your digital elevation model the next um, category we are going to look at is mapping and visualization and then under that we are going to look at um, qgis to web we have um, qgis to web it um, exports an open layer stroke um, leaflet web map right good so it exports qgis projects to interactive web maps so this um, leaflet web map they are actually interactive you can see the number of downloads is actually very high so this is actually what a mapping and visualization plugin so when you have created a project you can actually export it to that um, interactive um, um, web map platform like this um, leaflet web map using this qgis to web the next of which is what the time manager so we have a um, time manager that should be this good so it creates animation visualizing and uh, spatial temporal data that's um, time related data right good so it visualizes time based data useful for showing changes over time right good so if you want to observe changes over time this particular plugin can help you visualize what that particular data now we have our last category which is the remote sensing and then imagery um, plugins so under that category the first of which is our very very important um, semi-automatic um, classification plugin so okay there's a new version available we can decide to upgrade however we will not upgrade on this particular plugin for now because uh, we are interested in the last version that um, we are using however you can always ensure that you upgrade your plugins now um, this plugin the semi-automatic classification plugin allows for supervised classification of remote sensing images providing tools for the download pre-processing and post-processing of the images right good so it's actually a fantastic plugin that um, you are going to use if you are into remote sensing so for supervised classification of satellite images like maybe landsat sentinel and the rest of that now the final plugin we are going to discuss on today's tutorial is the dz good that should be this okay is it dz saka classification right good it's a fast and easy classification plugin for what qgi so it uses machine learning for classification like maybe if you want to carry out a um, good random forest svm classifiers and all the rest of that so okay you need to install ski kit learn this is actually what a python library for you to use these algorithms right good so so basically you can also see that um, the number of downloads are actually very high so we have shown you quite a good number of plugins you can run through them you know they are actually very very useful from the accusation to the processing to the mapping and visualization to this other category of um, remote sensing that we have also talked about the semi-automatic classification plugin so they are all fantastic plugins um, you can also install from a zip file as we said earlier so if someone shares you a zip file you can just load it from here and then install the plugin following the prompt right good so so far we have shown you some of the important um, QGIS plugins that um, you can use to maybe enhance your work processing on the software. We are going to see you with more. Ensure you keep staying safe and have fantastic times. Bye.